this is the cost accounting tutorial. My name is Keeley from Beta Alpha Psi, the Delta Alpha chapter of the University of Wyoming. This problem demonstrates how to perform the high-low method to calculate the cost formula. Um, you're probably looking right now on problem 3-6, a bunch of information. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can look at this problem, like using a scatter plot, but we're just going to focus on the high-low method. So you're looking at a bunch of information right now, and you need to pull out two sets of information. You need to find the lowest activity level and the highest activity level. So we have our highest activity level in May with 3,100 TANs with a total cost of $6,564. And then our lowest activity level happened in March with a total cost with a total cost of $2,628 and an activity level of $700. Now that we have these two pieces of information, we can go ahead and find our variable costs. Variable costs are your total cost, your change in total costs, divided by your total act, your change in activity level. So you're going to take your your numerator is going to be $6,564 minus $2,628 for your change in cost, divided by your total activity level, which is $3,100 minus $700. And when you plug that all in, you should get variable costs of $1.64. Continuing on with this problem, you now need to find your fixed costs. We can use this by using our variable costs that we found on the previous slide and either using the lowest activity level in March or the highest activity level in May. So we're just going to go ahead and sh sh use the one in March. So you have your activity level of 700 and a total cost of $2,628 and then your variable costs of $1.64. So to find your fixed costs, that's your total cost minus your variable cost times activity level. So you're going to plug this in. You're going to have your fixed costs equal $2,628 minus 164 times 700. And you should get your fixed costs of $1,480. $1, now you can also get this exact same answer by using your May results. So we're just going to prove this right now. With your May results, you have this um, your activity level of $3,100 and your total cost of $6,564 and variable costs of $1.64. And you just go ahead and plug that in the same equation and you notice that you get the same results of $1,480. So either way, you'll get the same results for fixed costs. Now that you have your variable costs and fixed costs, you can plug it in and use the equation y equals fixed costs plus variable cost times your activity level. So we have fixed costs of 1480 variable costs of $1.64. So your line is going to look like y equals $1,480 plus $1.64. And make sure that you know that x is your activity level. Now the last part of this problem asks us to approximate um, the cost for December if there are 1,900 visits to the tanning salon. So all you do is use your equation that you found of y equals $1,480 plus $1.64 and your x is going to be the 1,900 tanning visits and so you just plug that right into your equation and you should get total cost for December of $4,596. It's important to remember that this is just an approximation of the cost for December. Thank you for listening to this cost accounting tutorial. This is Beta Alpha Psi, Delta Alpha Chapter from the University of Wyoming. Thanks.